too bad. It's not been as bad as we expected this time of the morning. No, well, it's really nice to have you. We ought to go over your your career as a as a big band because some people were born week. when you were making <laughs> records. Your first big hit was more than ten years ago. When was that? Um, about ten years ago. Seventy two, wasn't it? I yeah, I think it's seventy two. Yes, seven seven seas of rye was the And that was seven seas of rye. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. and you sold lots and lots of records. Became very big in America. Was that before your most famous single, Bohemian Rhapsody? Not really. America was sort of a slow ride, and, and actually Bohemian Rhapsody wasn't the biggest thing we ever had in the past. Actually, it's only our most famous it. single in this country. I think right. in other countries we're sort of known for other records, mm. um, probably even more than that one. Well, Bohemian Rhapsody was voted, was it not, the best pop record, 1952 to 1977. The best pop yeah. record, which is not bad going, yeah. really. That's great. And one of the reasons it, it's highly regarded in this country is because a lot of people say it was you that started off the whole video business. In a, in a way, that's true. Um, probably it was us uh, who capitalised on it first. I don't know, yeah. but um, I, I don't think we actually did the first ever video. But we did sort of make use of video before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was an extraordinary else. video, the one you did for Bohemian Rhapsody. Maybe we'll check in our library one day and see if we can dig it out and play a little bit of it. But <laughs> you know, the dust off. It. The thing is, it was it, it was my, very technically. But it was technically perfect, and part of the reason for that is because most of you guys are all scientists, aren't you? You're all trained scientists. Um, unfortunately, three of us are, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'll tell you what, you still love your videos, and we've got a nice surprise for you now, because this is the first time you're going to get a chance to see some of the footage from the video for your new single, right. which is Don't called Hammer finished. to Fall. Yeah, That's right, yeah. it's shot in, you. All right, okay. shot in Brussels. Squeeze up to the television screen I've got over here and have a look. Here it comes. to fall and the other two minutes will be ready later on yes on, yeah, don't disappear on. will you make yourselves busy around the starship we'll have a chat with you a little bit later about your knowledge of science and astronomy well, something you're into as well isn't it fast. but before we do that we're going to wander back down to earth um because somewhere in our library we've got a, a record of a lady who very well to hide somewhere safe and uncovered during that explosion. Let me just get your qualifications right, Rog. You are a Bachelor of Science. Yes, apparently. Yes. Brian, you're, uh, uh, you've got a degree uh, in physics. Yes, yes. So what were, you, what, were you going, what were you thinking of being then before rock took over? Uh, rock and roller, actually. I never wanted to be anything to do with science, really. It was just a sort of a thing that I was brought up to to yeah. think. Where were you a student? Uh, I was at, in London University. Yeah, and whilst you were at college, at university, you were doing all the, going to all the lectures and writing all the essays. No, I was going to some of them. You were going to some of them? <laughs> uh, but, and you were Not playing, many. And you were playing musical instruments yes, in that's your right, spare yeah. time? I always did it right through school. I never wanted to do anything else. How good a degree did you get? Not very good. Go on, what did you get? Tell I'm us. not telling you. Please! <laughs> no, no, no. Please! <laughs> um, better than my mum's. Oh, uh, you did all right. Tell us modest. an awful lot. All right, <laughs> listen, I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at something that you've involved just yourself in, all right? Yes. It's uh, one of your solo LPs. I think it's called Strange Frontier, yes, right? right? This is just something that you've done on your own. You're still a member of the band, but yes. this is what you get up to when you're on your own. That's right. on your own people start rumors about the band splitting up yes it's, it's very difficult doing things on your own being in a successful band basically people don't want to know I yeah. think. is it because there are th ideas that you'd like to pursue that the band democratically vote sort of 12 um. to 1 against or what <laughs> really four of us. you know what I mean uh, I know what you mean yeah no it's just a form of sort of self-expression really because we only make about one album a year uh. 
And if I say write one or two songs, one or two songs a year is not a very high output. Mm -hmm. What did the album do? How well? Um, Sold a few. I think it got to about number 30 here. Oh, okay. It did all right. Still going, yeah. I think the Americans like it more than me. Okay. Lovely, Roger. And um, Brian, now, uh, we, uh, we know a little bit about some of the other things that you're interested in because uh, your interest in a TV show called Starfleet is quite well known. But before we see a clip from that, you're also very interested in the stars and outer space. Well, that's what I did before I did this. Yeah, I was an astronomer. Yeah. It's, uh, I was very serious about that, but I'm very serious about this now. Do you still stargaze? Yeah, yeah, but in an amateur way. Yeah. Yes. What's the most exciting thing you've seen with your own eyes in space, then, through a telescope? Ooh, I actually think looking at Saturn is still one of the... It the is, isn't it? Things. I've done that through a pair of binoculars. It's great, yes. I get very excited about it. Lovely having you guys on the show. Good luck Thank with you. the new single. Good luck with the tour. And Thank here's you. something from Starfleet, from you, Brian. Starfleet.